Purchase your copy of TurboCAD from CADCourse.net. I've created a, a cylinder and a plate. Uh, and as I was saying, these are all available in the Platinum Edition and Mechanical Edition. Um, and some of them are available in this plain old vanilla. Um, and I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to say, okay, well, this is the bend tool. Now, the bend tool was available in the previous Mechanical Edition. And uh, it still will work the same way. Um, if I come in here and I grab my facet, my work plane, and I put a line across there, and I grab my bend tool, and I can say, bend this face, bend it around that line. I can specify the radius, angle, neutrality, direction of bend, etc. You don't have to draw the line anymore. You can specify a distance from edge for the bend. Oh, that's an improvement, huh? Right. Now, obviously, that means you can't create, in this case, you can't create an arbitrary bend. Um, it's always oriented to one of the edges, but still, that's a very that's, nice functionality. That's a common use, yeah. Uh, having to draw that line was, uh, you know, often unnecessary. And then uh, there's also uh, improvements there where you can choose to um, define it from the middle or the edge or... Right. Uh, explain those quickly. Uh, well, basically that says whether it, the, the, bending, the bending moment starts... If I go back and uh, undo that, select and select that edge, I can specify it is... It, it, that that point I selected is the start where the bend begins, specifies it at the center of the bend or the end <coughs> of the bend. So that gives you a lot more flexibility as to where precisely the bend happens. Right. Okay. Um, in addition to that, we've added, um, and this is definitely uh, a, a flange tool, I can come in and I can select a face, select an edge, and I can specify putting a flange, which can be an extension that's either bent or not bent, um, off a face. Um, very useful for putting in tabs, sheet metal work, and the sort. So that just adds a tab on there. How, how did you define the length of that? Um, select the face I want it to be adjacent to. I select the starting point and the ending point. Okay. Boom, boom. And you notice it automatically is telling you what those values are. Okay, excellent. Um, we've also added some new capacities in order to do this with a tube. So I take a cylinder. You can do this with anything that has a circular profile or a side that has a circular profile. So even this was a half tube. Even if this was a hollow tube, you could do this. So I can come along here and I should go suggest the height point of the bed and the direction. Boom. I can flip whether I want the top to bend down or the bottom to bend up. Finish. And I have bent my tube. And so that that's significant for people doing piping, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, piping or any kind of duct work, circular duct work, they'll now be able to do that much easier. But even better for somebody doing pipe tool, uh, for the mechanical edition, we have what's called the tube flange tool, which is kind of misnamed. It's more like a tube extend tool, um, is what I kind of like thinking about it. I can choose the face, I can choose the direction, and what it will do is add a section onto it. Now, that's the flange um, length right there. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see that flange height. But I can set a zero angle, so that can be an extension, or it can be an extension that's bent. Very nice for laying in pipe work and duct work, because you can just progress along and along and along. So I can come down here and say, okay, we'll add a new section to there, and boom, done, and add another section, and boom, and done. Wow. So... If you can think of like laying in your plumbing work for your sink or your drains or whatever, you can just do that and run right through it and quite clearly see, okay, well, if I didn't bend it right and go back and do it and put it around. So it makes it much more fluid, much more organic for you to, to design this kind of work. Fantastic. Um, 
All right, that, uh, those are, so those are realistic improvements for a, a mechanical user, and, and most of that stuff is in the mechanical add-on pack? Yeah, it, it's called the mechanical edition, yes. Um, and uh, there are two versions you can get with the mechanical edition, or you can get it with the platinum edition. The nice thing about the platinum edition, as before, um, it comes with everything. It's the whole kit and caboodle. You get all the TurboCAD functionality. Excellent. Get this movie and many others in higher resolution from cadcourse.net.